Hello, this is the Orpheus Island National Park, James Cook University Research Center. And you see, pretty quiet at the moment. Chris and John are going to head out to the longboat offshore, which is the farthest one out there, to bring back a kayak and some shoes. Here we have a collection, they've got about seven research ships, including the longboat that's way out there. And, uh, yeah. This is the, it's part of a Great Barrier Reef research station. They have tanks filled with all sorts of stuff, including fish. This is a scuba diving area where you store all your gear, collect your tanks, so forth, wash your gear, go out in the water. This is the wet lab area where experiments are set up and so forth. They filter um, seawater for all this stuff. So whatever experiments you have and whatever things you do, um, it can be all done in this particular area. Some more labs. More labs. Gear for your experiments, no matter what kind of plumbing pipes and stuff like that you need. And lights and so forth. All available here. The other half of the wet lab. And up in here is the dry lab. We have a refrigerator that goes down to minus 82 degrees over there. We also have this little, a microscope in there and more crazy stuff. Ugh. More experimental work areas here and here. So we've got a hallway filled with tables and pipes and what have you. Down these steps, sort of like a communal area for students. It's even a auditorium. Uh, yeah. Most of these rooms are air conditioned, which is really cool. Back out to the front, back to the scuba diving area. They even have a compressor room for filling up tanks and whatnot. In here, compressor rooms. Here we have sort of our student areas. We can sleep 47 students in that big building there. Uh, six to a room, one of them is five, hence eight rooms. Yeah, he could do the math. Communal facilities, so a huge industrial grade kitchen and a smaller kitchen, so catering for two types of groups. Big outdoor barbecue area and this last building here, Polaris, that's for instructor accommodation or lead researcher, or however you want to put it. Um, four rooms, two beds apiece, a shower block in the back, kitchen block in the front with living room facility, and the last two rooms here. So you go, this is the Orpheus Island Research Station, which is used by James Cook University to study the Great Barrier Reef. A bit of drama. I've added as much drama as I can give you. Um, we have generators. Ah, I gotta show you the generators. Big saltwater pump there. We've got a pipe that goes 500 meters offshore. You sort of make out all the little yellow uh, items marking the pipeline. 
but there's a reef out there. You can sort of see the reef now in this kind of sort of shot. Um, we pull water from the reef. So the water, the same environment water that the, the coral uses for the experiments, or they filter it down to five microns. Uh, they got a, not necessarily a desalinization system, more or less a filtering system up there in that top shed. So, yeah, um, they filter the water two different grades. You can either get pure water from the reef, the same water that your creatures utilize, or you can have special filtered water. Diesel and fuel storage facilities, they get topped up once every three months. Over there, generators, a couple of work sheds, eh, everything a uh, research station needs. I even have a facility here for barges to dock and offload goods and students and experiments and this, that, and the other right in through here. And, uh, yeah, so that concludes the tour of the uh, Orpheus Island Research Station. Offshore here, we have Hinchinbrook Island and plenty of beach, a bay that gets empty twice a day. Yeah, how about that? You can't get nicer than that at times. You can't get nicer than that. Back towards the management bungalow. Three bedroom unit. Office, manager's quarters. There's an additional two bedroom unit behind for staff. Yeah. And we got all kinds of gear. So there you go. There's the tour of the Orpheus Island Research Station. My goodness. So they're used to re replenish stocks. Yeah.
bearing. It'll be off the for last you know that. <laughs> Over there is a water tank. We're at, this is the leper colony, remains of the leper colony at um, Phantom Island. And over there is some sort of container. There's the boat we came in on, and we're across from the village at Palm Island. There you go. Lots of trash on this side of the island because it's, on, um, it's where all the uh, weather comes in to this side so it drags everything off the Pacific. We've come across a boat over on the, uh, it's not going anywhere. How weird. What do you think? It's full of water. Yeah. It's an abandoned boat. What do we do with it? Sink it? Take it with us? No, no, no. We could tow it. I tow it, yeah, okay. I don't, it doesn't appear to be tied off anywhere. Here we are, one last time coming into the research station.